what's going on guys so after having two nice green days in the market of course we had to have some bad news and that bad news was about aurora cannabis so the bank of america downgraded aurora cannabis and we're gonna get right into that and on top of that aurora cannabis is having a red day today down six percent so today we're gonna be taking a look at aurora cannabis we're gonna be doing some technical and chart analysis and of course we're gonna update you guys on the latest news on aurora cannabis but before we get this video started don't forget give me a thumbs up and if you're new to this channel don't forget hit that notification bell smash that subscribe button and let's get this video started so we're going to start off by looking at aurora cannabis charts so of course after aurora cannabis got downgraded by bank of america aurora cannabis went down over six percent right now we're currently down 5.99 percent and we're going to take a look at these charts so on yesterday's video i did say i did say the best case and the worst case scenario obviously what we wanted to see was aurora cannabis bounce off this support line right here at around nine dollars canadian so Aurora Cannabis has been downtrending in between this red line and this green line right here. And what happened was Aurora Cannabis bounced off the support line at $9.00. It looked for a second like we were potentially going to start uptrending on this green line right here. But after the downgrade from Bank America, it looks like Aurora Cannabis might continue this downtrend. A couple things might happen this support line might still hold at $9.00. Aurora could potentially go down to this $9.00 support line and continue pushing forward or Aurora Cannabis can potentially continue to downtrend in between these two lines right here, this red line and this green line. So that's what we could see. Aurora Cannabis continue to downtrend, bouncing in between these two lines. Or what we would love to see would be Aurora Cannabis bounce off this $9 support and finally start pushing forward. Now we're gonna be looking at American charts right now. And we see a similar pattern, but it looks a little different with the American charts. But we have almost the same thing. We have a support line right here at $7. We have Aurora Cannabis downtrending. And we have a nice sell-off today due to the downgrade thanks to Bank America. So right now, the $7 support line seems to be holding for Aurora Cannabis. And I have the same concerns. Are we going to bounce off this support line, start pushing forward, or break below it, and potentially continue to downtrend some more? We're gonna look at technical analysis for Aurora Cannabis and it looks like a strong sell. Sell, strong sell, and a strong sell. That's the one day. The one minute is a neutral sell and a strong sell for Aurora Cannabis. Right now, Aurora Cannabis has a market cap of 7.39 billion and we're currently down 6.07% and counting. So now we're gonna go straight into the news that, that's bringing Aurora Cannabis down. So before we go into the news about Aurora Cannabis, I wanna take another look at these charts. So right here we have the 50 day moving average, the Bollinger Bands. We crossed right here and pretty much immediately after we crossed, we had a sell signal. But what happened here, if we're looking at the MACD lines, it looks like we could potentially be getting a buy signal, which could be right around here. So Aurora Cannabis had a sell off. We're getting a buy signal with the MACD lines. And it looks like the 50 day moving average and the Bollinger Bands are going to cross again. So now these signals are not always 100% correct. But what might be happening here is Aurora Cannabis was oversold. Now we're getting two potential signals where Aurora Cannabis can make another run. We might potentially go up 1-3% to and this run could potentially only last one day. But as of now, it's looking like we're getting a buy signal and it's looking like Aurora Cannabis is oversold. So does that mean that I expect Aurora Cannabis to have a green day tomorrow? I think it's very likely that it might happen, but it's never 100% guaranteed. But either way, let's go straight to the news that brought Aurora Cannabis down 6% today. So Aurora Cannabis stocks get downgraded. So on Thursday, after Bank of America analyst Christopher Carey raised concerns regarding the marijuana producer's shrinking cash position, the stock was down 6% at 2.15. Carey downgraded Aurora Cannabis stock from buy to neutral and lowered his price target from $10 to $8 American. Aurora shares are currently trading for about $7, $6.97 at this very moment to be exact. To be fair, Carey praised Aurora's production capacity, operational excellence, and aggressive pursuit of multiple growth opportunities. Aurora has emerged as one of the best operators in the cannabis sector with industry-leading scale and margins, even versus other large peers, and global optionality, Carey said. But still, Carey is concerned that despite Aurora's efforts to improve profitability, its expansion initiatives are burning through the company's meager cash reserves. So Bank of America analyst Christopher Carey fears that Aurora Cannabis is burning through cash too quickly. 
Aurora has a large amount of debt coming in the first quarter of 2020, and that's likely to force the company to raise capital in order to pay it off. Notably, Aurora also filed a shelf registration that could allow it to raise as much as $750 million in cash through a public offering of its stock. However, Kerry argues that for Aurora, raising cash to rebuild its reserves is less attractive than using the money to enter new growth markets such as CBD in the US. At this early stage of the industry development, when its first mover advantage is key, be early, be big, raising capital from a defensive position rather than for an untapped opportunities like in CBD is less ideal, Kerry said. In turn, Kerry believes Aurora may need to either strike a partnership that brings capital into its coffers or dilute existing shareholders by selling more equity to investors. So both these cases sound very bad. One hand, they're going to dilute more shares, which punish us, the shareholders. And the other hand, Kerry is suggesting that Aurora gives up part of the company to bring in more capital. So they want to give up a big chunk of the company, something like what Canopy did, something like what Kronos did. They gave up a big chunk of their company. In the short term, that might sound like a good idea because in the short term, that could potentially raise Aurora's price by a lot. It would also bring Aurora Cannabis a lot of cash, but it would also take away full control from Aurora Cannabis. Now, if we talk about Canopy, recently they had their CEO or their co-CEO getting fired, and that was mostly thanks to Constellation Brand. Constellation Brand was not happy with the results that Canopy was bringing in. They pretty much forced Canopy's hand and that was one of the reasons as to why the CEO from Canopy got fired. So let me know what you guys think. Do you think that Aurora should issue more shares or they should try to land a big partnership so they can have more cash at hand? Or do you think they should continue doing what they do because they seem to be on the right track? I personally wouldn't mind a partnership or multiple partnerships I'm still expecting a somewhat big partnership before October. Anyways, that's it for now, guys. Let me know your thoughts and opinions on Bank of America's new price target for Aurora Cannabis. Do you guys think it's way too low? Do you think it's too high? Are you guys going to be picking up Aurora Cannabis on this dip? Or do you guys think Aurora Cannabis can potentially keep going down even more? If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget, give me a thumbs up. And if you're new here, don't forget to smash that subscribe button. And that's it for now, guys. Bye-bye.